a very short prayer for myself. It's how I, how I wrap up myself and all of you. So appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of words today, uh, but we'll bring back the music and, and go large here in just a couple of weeks when we get, get back to our, our sanctuary. So. <sighs> Divine Sacred Spirit, Mother, Father, God, by any name, any understanding, any belief that brings us closer to that, that's something greater than ourselves, the all that is. We thank you for this day, this moment, this breath, each breath, an opportunity to learn, to live, to love, in light, in spirit, in kindness, in grace, in spaciousness, in awe. We are so blessed. We understand that. We receive the blessing. We accept it. We will go out and live this day and each day well, and we will touch somebody with our light. Blessed be, and so it is. And speaking of prayer, uh, we have a very, very warm, loving friend of CUL, and we, as international, we're down in Mexico. Today, we're going to turn to Egypt, Giza, Egypt, and our lovely Sufi soul brother, Kimberly, if, if you would run a video. Yep, stand by. Hello, dear Stephen, brother in light, hi, sister in light, Kimberly, Gary, Moss, I send you all my love from the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx of the Giza Plateau. Done my meditation for God's spirits to heal the universal light. I send the energy and the blessings from the old Pharaoh on earth, which is mean more than 40 to 50,000 years, the oldest civilization on Mother Earth. I send you healings and soul spirits from the great pyramids of Cheops, and I wish you all the best. Wonderful prayer. It's time to come together as one human being and to share the love from our heart so we can heal the universe and we can heal the planets. Trust yourself. It's not by Corona you leave Mother Earth. If you're home, if you are covered anywhere in the place and you're supposed to leave the planets, you leave the planets. So enjoy your life, enjoy your friends, hold hands, meditate, ask God to heal Mother Earth and to be able to light our hearts from the darkness that we're living in. So I sent you my meditation earlier from the pause of this thing. And I love you all. God bless you. And thank you for having me in your healing energy and in your meditate. I send you my love back. And God bless Sedona. God bless the world. God bless the universe. And God bless all of you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming, and that, that wraps it up for today. What, <laughs> what can I say? Like, what can is you run that, that picture of uh, Fadog in Sedona? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. What's his name, Stephen? Fadog Hawaf. He lives in Giza, Egypt. He visits frequently, and I met this man walking down the street in the village of Oak Creek in robes and a turban. And said, hmm, that's a little different. Uh, <laughs> and we connected, we bonded, we became great friends. Uh, interestingly enough, he had invited me to Egypt in April. I'll just say that the universe had other plans for all of us in the last several months. It's all spirit-led, all in, in divine order. I'm here, he's there, and um, it's just just beautiful. So, image? Mission control? Are we bringing up uh, Padog's picture? 
for that. It's there. Okay. Is it not sharing? Oh, I'm not seeing it. Stand by. I'm sorry. Stand by. We'll do another, another orbit here. But, <laughs> and something I'll add. Beautiful, loving man. There he is. Yes. Oh. Yes, there's a, oh our soul brother, very good friends. Kimberly, uh, Derry Moxley, our Bantu warrior, our Tao priest, and also when he speaks of Ramos, that's Daniel Ramos, here our loving, kind, beautiful uh, Native American spirit guide. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, in awe with all the things that the universe brings. And this is what we do. This is what we strive for at the center here. Inclusion, uh, no, he doesn't have a parachute on or he's not going hang gliding or anything. He just, uh, just sending spirit. He loves this area and visits. And Padak is such a kind, loving man. He doesn't care about money, he doesn't care about wealth. That doesn't impress him. He just, from the heart and soul spirits from Egypt. So thank you, my brother. But he's on the phone all the time, including 3 a.m. this morning. So oh, and Kimberly knows because she gets those those phone calls. Um, Kimberly, do you have the Rumi quote? Thank you. I'm going to open with this. You can read this. I'll read it. Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshiper, lover of leaving. It doesn't matter. Ours is not a caravan of despair. Come. Even if you have broken your bow a thousand times, come yet again, come, come. And always return to the heart. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, that was that was how I wanted to to open. You can you can pull the slide now. Uh, in in speaking of of inclusion, naturally I'm a bit of an academic or okay nerd. Kimberly spoke of curiosity last week and diving into things. Inclusion came up, we were actually having a conversation, the three musketeers, which was Larry, Gary, myself, three musketeers, well, this might be a little more appropriate, but we were out in the yard here at the, the center, uh, blessing our weeds and yanking them and, and sending them off to the sacred compost, and we were chatting, and just about things uh, CUL-centered, and Kimberly asked if I would speak, happy to do that. And somehow I got this word in my head on the way home. I don't even know if Kimberly said that. I got home, inclusion, huh? Okay, so naturally I did know. I jumped on the computer and began to do some research, my, channeling my inner Kimberly and inclusion. And two things that came up, a lot of academic stuff, diversity. The other thing that came up, and I found this in conversations I've had this week with others. What does inclusion mean to you? And it seemed like people would just automatically go, well, I know what exclusion is. I know what it feels like to, I don't know, be that kid that was excluded or the person that felt a little different. I understand that there's, well, at times I feel like a stranger in a strange land, uh, particularly when I started out in Sedona, uh, but I'm from Northern California. But the topic, just opened up and bringing it back to inclusion. And I'm going to read this. This is something that I found that was, that was I thought was, was poignant. And first of all, we go to the definitions. What did I come up with? Inclusion, the action or state of including or of being included within a group structure. Okay, that's the, the dynamic, that's the, the, the dictionary. Here's one I really liked. I think we're getting a little, a little close to the power center. Um, and it's from a geology standpoint. Inclusion, a body or particle recognizably di distinct from the substance in which it is embedded. I'll read that again. A body or particle recognizably distinct from the substance in which it is embedded. And I like this because we, we know we are all one. Sometimes we live in that duality and, and we get captured by, by the things that we, we deal with on a day-to-day, -day. particularly now. It's, I know it's really challenging for people. We don't take this lightly. We know it's been a difficult time. I'm not going to 
offer, preach what, what your learning is, your message or what's coming to you. We, we go inside and, and we'll figure that out, but we're, we're gonna stand together. We'll stand tall. And here at the Center of Universal Light, we are with every one of you uh, in a way that we're needed. And by the way, we spoke of the prayer partners earlier and Jane Hawthorne that gets our requests. Know that prayer for Center of Universal Light, we do not pray over anybody. We do not pray for anybody. We come from uh, the place of affirmative prayer. We hold space. We ask people just to identify what they really need offer it to us. We have our, our prayer warriors, our operators are standing by, and we take it in our hearts. We offer prayer, we release it up to the universe, and we've done our work, and things will be what they will be. So do keep us in mind in our prayer program. We are here for you. We have some wonderful people. Here's something I thought was very, a thoughtful and profound explanation of inclusion, something that's more relevant to the work that we do here uh, at Center of Universal Light and all of our light workers and our energy healers and every one of you. And if, if you're on this Zoom uh, meeting today, our, our version of Hollywood Squares, then uh, you understand this. Spiritual inclusion welcomes everyone, including all those with little or no interest in religion or God. Spirituality is not the same as religion. Spirituality is simply that part of each of us that connects us to all that is. Spiritual inclusion provides a gentler space that can uphold the prophets, philosophers, and pilgrims of the past, one that unites their sense of goodness, righteousness, and love, always love, and that speaks generously to all. We can honor them and share the common message of love, which is found in all religious and philosophical traditions called the golden rule or the ethic of recipro reciprocity. I know I could say that. This message encourages us to treat all others as you would like them to treat you. Given what is happening around us, it is no longer enough to sit passively and talk about difference or diversity. Spiritual inclusion is a personal invitation to reach out, to collaborate in new ways, and include everyone. Spiritual inclusion offers a unique opportunity to each of us. For it is us, particularly in our positions of plenty, and those maybe not so much, who need to embrace all others if we are to be fully human and fulfill our potential. And I, I got this actually from an organization named Diversiton, and they're dedicated to inclusion and creating opportunities for all. And this organization grew out of the Northern Ireland peace process, the troubles, so the difficulties. And we see this all over the planet, the separation, the support, supposed other. And I think most of us understand that's just another word for fear and how that can manifest. And we are here to do that work to help dissolve fear and bring it back to the light, help us move back down into the heart center and receive the blessing that this universe has for us if we wake up and accept it. And we're all here to help each other. So that is my prayer, that is my dream that is my desire and we're here to help that happen so what is the thread that connects us i'll throw that out i believe it's humanity and inclusion not exclusion i'm going to ask all of you if you have the ability to snap up in the, the corner of your screen wherever that is and move to grid move to the grid so you see everyone not just me see everyone every one of you and i'll trust that you can do that and the reason i offered that and this actually came from a conversation my dear neighbor linda breffold who's a wonderful woman we we kick things around and these light bulbs come on for for stephen and i realized here in our zoom virtual campus of center of universal light if you're looking at the grid what do you see but each of us 
maybe a little bit different clothing, a little bit different background here. Uh, Kimberly's place is, uh, is, is prettier than mine. Uh, she's got a lot of books like me too. But what is important, my point, is that we're all the same. We're all equal. We're all in here, each of us, a universe, a light, uh, and there's no separation, there's no large, there's no small, powerful, weak, nothing like that. There's just humanity. And if we can hold that, hold that space and hold that, that feeling, whoops, time's up. <laughs> um, just hold that love in our hearts. Uh, then we can, we can continue to build the world that we want to live in. Whatever our beliefs are, wherever we will go, however we transition to the next chapter, the next place for each of us, that's, that's our work, that's our job to, to understand. Nobody here at CUL is going to tell you what that is. You carry that for yourself. Um, and so I could go on and on, but uh, my phone beeped. And I think that's about 20 minutes. So what I'd like to do here, uh, we have another quote. Kimberly, if you'd run that from Rumi. We'll go right to that. The next one. It's kind of hard to get the timing down here. Uh, when we speak, we have a lot more time, but we know your time is valuable here. So we'll, we'll move on past our family uh, that I was going to bring up. And we'll go right to our last quote with the hand. And thank you, Kimberly. It's just really difficult for her because she's out of her office and working <laughs> up in Studio B. Oh, and I'm yeah. my brain yeah. back in gear here. So yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And just when we get this figured out, we'll close the, the power book. Next one. And uh, yeah. moving down to the hands. And uh, we'll be back, back live. Oh, and there's a picture. That's as Fedor calls Remos. Oh, and there's a picture. Uh, that's what I wanted. Thank you. And I'll read that. I looked in temples, churches, and mosques, but I found the divine within my heart. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to close with this, and then we'll have Kimberly put up uh, the hands. And it's interesting. We, we got our message from Fadok in Soul Spirits in the land of the pharaohs. I'm holding this feather, which was a gift from my dear friend, Gary Moxley, uh, who will be speaking here uh, next month. And this feather comes from his, his beloved avian soulmate named Pharaoh. It was a gift. So I, I keep it with me and I, I use this in our four, four directions. So I'm going to close with a reading from a wonderful woman that knows quite a bit about inclusion. And her name is Maya Angelou. Mm -hmm. We, unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives and in its train comes ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet if we are bold, love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity in the flush of love's light. We dare to be brave, and suddenly we see that love costs all we are and will ever be. It is only love which sets us free. Mm -hmm. A prayer to you blessings and love. Go out and enjoy this day and live it well. Thank you. Love you.